Hi, I'm going to be talking in this video about the four C's, the four essential phases and keys to a happy, lasting, loving relationship. We need all four of these for the relationship to flourish and grow over time. And you may find in your relationship right now that one of these areas isn't working or one of these areas is now missing. And if that's the case, then I'm going to be creating a lot more videos and podcasts from these areas. And I've also got my challenge coming up, my relationship three day challenge, which can really help with all of these three or four actually areas, the four C's. So the first C is chemistry. Do you have a good chemistry? Are you attracted to each other? Do you want to be around each other? Do you want to learn from each other? Do you want to rip each other's clothes off when you see each other? That chemistry, that attraction needs to be there. And then there's connection. After we have the attraction, we need something a bit deeper. We need to feel emotionally connected, physically connected, mentally connected, sexually connected. Now you're, you may be a person that doesn't need all four of those different types of connection. However, you're probably going to need a good one or two of those to really be close and want to stay close to your partner. But those are just the beginning phrases of a relationship. Then we have the commitment. Are you committed to building a relationship with that person? Are you willing to be exclusive? Are you willing to put energy, effort, sometimes finances into the relationship? Time to grow it, to nurture it, to support one another. And then commitment is great and it's so important. However, the fourth C is compatibility. Are you compatible? Do you perhaps share the same interests, long-term vision, goals and dreams? Are you compatible in terms of the way that you communicate and your communication styles? Do you make each other feel good about yourselves? Do you raise each other's self-esteem? All these elements are so important. So I'll just repeat them again. There is the chemistry, there is the connection, there is the commitment and there is the compatibility. Now you may feel, and which a lot of people that come to me do, is they say, yes, I'm really committed. And then we can work through and help a couple who may be not compatible during certain phases of their relationship to become more compatible because they're both committed. So it's so important to have that commitment before the compatibility. Sometimes couples drift apart and they can get that compatibility back. Sometimes connection is severed and you can get that connection back. It's very hard to create chemistry. Some people, if it wasn't there in the first place, some people will say to me, Nicola, we've never ever had any chemistry and I'm gonna create some more videos on that and a podcast on that soon. So do stay tuned to my YouTube channel and uh, whatever podcast platform you'd like to listen to if you want to learn more about that. So chemistry, I really find it quite difficult to help couples get chemistry if it was never there in the first place. However, creating a new connection, creating new commitments, creating new compatibility can sometimes spark chemistry that has never been there in the first place, but the couple find it through going through those steps with me. Then there's a connection. Connection can often be broken by resentment, by hurtful things that have happened in the past, and these need to be clear for a relationship to have that loving, supporting connection. Sexual connection can also break down through awkward experiences or through some negative things happening. And again, sexual blocks can be cleared. And then commitment. Now, if someone's had an affair, you really want to make sure are they committed to this relationship? Are they really willing to put everything into it to make it work? And then there is of course, compatibility, which is working on it and growing together, learning new communication skills together. So if you have any questions on any of these topics, do feel free to reach out to me. I do have my challenge coming up very soon, which is focusing on all of these key areas. And I'd love to share more about it with you if you are interested. So just 
join the Facebook group if you're not in the Facebook group already, subscribe to the YouTube channel and the podcast apps and you're going to have all that information about how you can be part of this up and coming challenge. From my heart to yours, wishing you an amazing day ahead.